close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths, and just stay with the breathing. When the breath comes in, you know it's coming in. When it goes out, you know it's going out. You don't have to go anywhere else. Try not to lean over into the future or lean back into the past. Try to keep your mind balanced right here in the present. Don't lead toward things that you like or away things that you don't like. Just be here with whatever's there. And if you see that something needs correcting, okay, you can correct it. Keeping the mind balanced doesn't mean that you just put up with whatever is there. You accept what's there, but then you figure out how to improve it if it needs improving. But the important principle is that you don't let this be influenced by unreasonable wants or unreasonable likes and dislikes. Because the mind is under the power of those things, and you're not going to see anything clearly. So you have to learn how to be patient. You have to learn how to have some equanimity. Keep the mind on an even keel. That way you learn all kinds of things you wouldn't have learned before. So if you see that something does need changing, okay, you try changing it, and then you watch for a while to see the results of your actions. Don't, joke, don't go jumping to the conclusion that it had to be right. Because if you don't learn from your mistakes, if you don't admit your mistakes, you don't learn from them. If you don't learn from them, what are you going to learn from? You learn from what other people tell you? That's not for sure. You learn from what you think should be the way things are? Well, that's really not for sure either. You have to test things. And to test things properly, you have to make your mind into a good judge of the test, which requires impartiality. It requires that you be patient. Watch things for a while. Don't let your mind tip over in terms of its biases, things it likes or dislikes, or things that you're afraid of, or things that you're deluded about. None of those things lead you in the direction you want to go. The Buddhist word is akati, which means a bad place to go, basically. goes off course. To stay on course, you stay on an even keel. So whatever comes up, you're in a position to judge it properly, and then deal with it properly. This is how you learn. This is how you develop skill. We're not here just to accept things. We're here to accept the fact that things are the way they are, but they don't have to be that way. And then we figure out how to improve them. And the big problem, of course, is the fact that we're causing suffering. Well, we learn how not to do that. That's going to require that you step back quite a bit from your actions, because a lot of things that you like to do are the ones that cause suffering. The things you don't like to do are the ones that are going to put an end to it, so you can't let your preferences get in the way. There's that old saying that the great way is not difficult for those with no preferences. Well, this is what it means. It doesn't mean that you don't have any likes or dislikes at all. It means that you see what needs to be done and you do it, whether you like it or not. You see what needs to be abandoned and you abandon it, whether you like it or not. And of course, you have to talk yourself into doing this, which means you have to give rise to a new kind of desire, the desire to do things well, to do things skillfully. All of this is required in keeping the mind on an even keel. I mentioned the other night about a tightrope walker. It's not that she's going to be in perfect balance all the way across the rope. Sometimes she needs to lean a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, but she always knows how to recover her balance when she has to. That's the skill right there. So it's learning how to. If you find yourself leaning here or leaning there, you recover your balance right away. And that's what gets you across. 